Jack may not know this whole story because I kind of hid it from him. But I went into a panic mode when I tech went out of business. We we bought about seven hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of computers that we had no support for, and uh, <clears throat> so I got in my car and I drove all over the country looking at people that had PC st stuff, classified system. Nobody had a complete system. Um, I remember uh, Jack and Bill Fouch flew up to uh, Chicago uh, on a chamber project or an industrial project process and I piggybacked rode up there with them and went to a uh, vendor up there that was doing uh, uh, a lot of stuff so I was out trying to find out you know where we were going to go next and the iTech and all the uh, I'll call ancient hardware people were all proprietary, which meant the iTech didn't talk to uh, the other folks and the other folks didn't talk to iTech. You bought the whole package. You bought the terminal, you bought the computer, you bought the typesetter, you bought everything from one vendor. And uh, when it came time for us to decide to make a move to PCs or Macs, Macs really weren't where they got to pretty rapidly, and I'll tell you how that got that way in a second, but you know, I was sitting, I remember sitting in Jack's office and I said, I had, five, I had a list of five things that I based the decision on, and I said, and the final one is we're not dealing with a single vendor, and Apple was a single vendor process. You bought the Mac, you bought their software you bought. And it was that way for years. I mean, nobody was developing software for the Mac except uh, a small group of people. And by the time we got into the PC game, people were doing uh, software and, and hardware and there was a lot more options there. And I was just afraid to get it, you know, backed into a corner again.